Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily and today let's talk about multi-language again, like in a previous video, but with an example of menu item, how to translate that one, because it has a few tricks underneath. So in a typical resource of Filament, you would have navigation label, for example. By default, it's the same as resource in plural, but you can rename it to my post, for example, and then it would get renamed. But if you want it to be translatable and everywhere you use translations, you of course use double underscore function like this. So posts in this case. The problem is that it wouldn't work. So properties with default values are not allowed to use functions. So if we refresh that, we will get an error, constant expression contains invalid operations, which means you cannot have a function here. But filament has a different way of setting the property value, in this case, not only in the property, but also in a method. So there's a method, get navigation label, like this. So you define navigation label instead of default return, you return underscore posts, like this case, then you comment out navigation label as a property, you refresh, and we have posts, and it works with translations. So I have a project with my own Lithuanian language and language switcher. It is translatable. But also, there's another way to rename the menu item if you do that along the way with the model itself. So another method that Filament offers for translations is related to the model itself. I have that down below and I will uncomment that. There's get model label and get plural model label, which means this will come to the menu item and this will come to wherever you use that as a single model. For example, here, here we have post, which is not translated, and here we have posts, which is not translated either. So what I did a minute ago was translating just the navigation label. But if I don't translate navigation label specifically, so this is commented out, but I translate only the model label, the navigation label will get automatically translated. So now if we refresh, as you can see, the text changed everywhere. This is plural form of posts, this is plural form, and this is add singular form of post translated into other language. And if we get back to English, you can see post and posts here and posts here. So yeah, that's it. A quick tip about filament. Another quick tip, and this channel is full of tips, so subscribe to that one and get more filament tips and tricks every weekday and see you guys in other videos.